So, we have a list of football results with a column for the score and another with the result classification. W for win, D for draw and L for loss. We want to find out what the longest winning streak is. I'm going to show you two ways to do this, one traditional method and one modern method. Let's begin with the former. We'll start the formula with an if statement. We're only interested in wins, so if B3, which references the current result, is equal to W, then proceed to the true argument with another if statement. By the way, you will notice I'm referencing column headers for this first formula, but they are relative references, so they're designed to increment by one for each row. So if the current result is equal to the previous result in B2, then calculate C2, which is the previous streak number, plus one. If it's the start of a new streak, it'll jump to the false argument, which is one. Close that if statement and put a zero for the first if statement's false argument to ignore the draws and the losses. Confirm the formula, double click on the fill handle, and there we have it. Each win is represented by an incremental number. Win, 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 one, two, three, a draw and a loss, zero, zero, and then the winning sequence restarts. So that works fine, but we've used 15 formulas. Therefore, I don't advise using this method unless compatibility is of the utmost concern, but it's an option nevertheless. Let's turn our attention now to the modern method. This is based on the scan function, which is great for running counts, running totals, or anything that involves intermediate values. So put zero in the initial value argument, the result range as the array, and then we need to apply a lambda. Let's define our first parameter as A. This represents the accumulated values, and the second is B, which represents the current value. In the next argument, if B is equal to W, then A plus one, which means add one to the accumulator. If false, return zero. Close the if statement, close the lambda, and close scan. Confirm the formula, and voila! It's produced exactly the same results as the traditional method, but it's used 14 fewer formulas. We can easily see by looking at the columns that 5 is the longest winning streak, but if you want to return this via a formula, just reference either range in the max function.